<clears throat> oh, hey, this is Doofus and Goofus. We're with Revival Baptist Church. Hey, we're with Revival Baptist Church. Just yeah. inviting folks to church. Do you get a chance to go to church anywhere? Yeah. Awesome. Great. Well, hey, more important than going to church is to know for sure you go to heaven. So could I just take the Bible and show you how you could know for sure? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Romans 3.10. As it is written, there's none righteous, no, not one. Is anybody righteous? Apparently not. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We all come short of the glory of God because right. we're sinners, right? Yeah, absolutely. And the wages of sin is death. Death and hell, right? You understand this so far? Would you say that that's what you would deserve? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah sure. And the Bible tells us that it, it's a gift. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So, you know, obviously, it's not something we could earn. It's a gift. Don't you like getting gifts? Yeah, I like gifts. Yeah, yeah like me gifts. too, sure. So, you want to know how to receive that free gift? Yeah. Yeah, so over here, Romans 10, 9, it says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Mm -hmm. So do you believe everything I showed you? And yeah. understand it. It's right there. Understands. Would you like to call upon the name of the Lord? I think I would. Awesome. Just repeat after me. Repeat. Yeah. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I know I'm a sinner. I know I'm a sinner. <laughs> and oh, God. I've done so many bad things in my life. Repeat him, repeat him. I promise. Oh, I've done so many bad things. I Maybe. promise I'll never do it again. Promise it. Father, I turn. That's right. Because I don't want to burn. That's right. Lord Amen. Jesus, come into my heart. Amen. And save my soul. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Did you feel that, brother? Did you feel that, brother? Ah, uh, yeah. That's three to four. I can't count. That's a lot. All right, cut, yes. cut, cut, guys. All right, at door number one, the soul winners were too quick. There were a one, two, three. Repeat after me. Just it was. It meant nothing. Door number one. But door number two, you know, they did. They did a pretty decent job all the way to the See, point of the prayer, where they added repentance of sins and totally destroyed any good that they had done up to that point. Okay. We're not there to confuse people. The Bible says, I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness has come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. Okay? You're teaching them about the, the, the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. You're showing them the gospel, and then you're tagging work salvation on the end. You've just confused them. Where are they putting their faith? What are they asking God for? They have no idea now. They don't know. You just ruined the whole thing. And we have to remember as soul winners, silent partners, talkers, out soul winning, souls are in the balance, okay? So you have a role, whether you're the talker or the silent partner, is very important. And we want to keep in mind, folks, that salvation is easy. Anybody that's saved knows how easy it is to get saved. It's easy. But the person that gets saved must understand. They must understand it. So we, we need to be thorough in our presentation. We're not here to confuse people. We're here to make it plain, okay? Make it plain. Have a simple plan of salvation. Use the Romans road. That's, it works. It works, folks. Just use it, okay? And look, they don't have to repent of their sins to be saved. And unfortunately, as common as the one, two, three, repeat after me garbage is, so as common is the repent of your sins for salvation prayer, okay? It's even on the church. You'll have a church track that's great until you get to the prayer. How common is that? I see it all the time. Yeah. This is just co a copy-paste, copy-paste, adding works to our salvation plan. It's garbage. We need to be aware of it. We need to take heed. We need to be aware of it creeping in.